Hello. I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Scott Lerner. He is the CEO of Better Choice Company. Scott, great to see you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm excited uh, to chat about BTTR. Oh, I'm excited to hear. Now, before we do get started, I want to tell our viewers that this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Scott, Better Choice's mission is to be the most innovative premium pet company in the world. Can you talk a little bit more about this and tell me what it means to you? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, first and foremost, uh, I'm a huge pet lover. Uh, my golden doodle, Leo, is uh, my sidekick. Uh, he's, he's next to me right now. So we're all about pet health and really innovating within the space. And, and it's pretty unique because my background, I actually didn't have any experience in the pet food industry. I uh, came over from the food and beverage world uh, within the CPG industry, worked for companies like PepsiCo and in ConAgra. And so what I've done is brought a lot of the insights over from the food and beverage world into the pet world. And that really delivers against our uh, plan to become the most innovative premium pet food company in the world. So it's twofold. It's a combination of our thinking uh, in terms of how we approach product development and marketing. And then the team that we have on board at Better Choice as well. By design, we have folks that have uh, been there, done that within the pet food industry. Uh, as an example, Donald Young, who heads up our retail sales, came off two huge wins uh, with the Neutro brand, as well as Merrick, uh, and sold both to Mars Pet Care and Nestle Purina. And so we have individuals like that that have been there, done that. And then specifically, I brought in folks with zero pet experience, uh, because in my opinion, that's how we innovate by doing, uh, doing it differently. And uh, it's been quite successful for us to date. Okay. So Scott, tell me about your core consumer brands and how they're different from your competition. We're rallying around our uh, Halo brand, which has been in the market for you know roughly 30 years, but requires a, a refresh, if you will. So the Halo Ballistic brand has a unique proposition in that it is built around whole uh, proteins, whole animal proteins, not meat meals. So it's super high quality, very high digestibility. And what's even more important is that we use only sustainably, responsibly sourced animal proteins. So for example, uh, if you walked into your local Whole Foods, you'd find GAP certified beef or chicken. Those are the same type of proteins we use in Holistic as well as MSC certified seafood. So it's a, a very high quality, high end uh, product formulation. So Halo Holistic you know, is sold on Amazon and Chewy and, and will be on our own site in time. Uh, Halo Elevate is a new brand we're really excited about. We're launching within the pet specialty channel. So stores like Petco and Pet Supplies Plus. Uh, it is built around this proposition of having very high levels of animal protein. If you look within the super premium segment of pet food, a lot of uh, brands utilize plant protein to boost the protein level of uh, the food. So all our Elevate foods are 90% uh, of the protein comes from animal protein, which is very important uh, for your dog. Uh, and it also delivers on five key nutritional benefits uh, specific to your pet. You know, one would be immunity, the other would be healthy skin and coat, uh, strength and energy, hip and joint uh, support, and then digestive health. And so think about supplement level uh, of the ingredients, uh, nutrients in the product to deliver on those benefits. So like high levels of omega-3, omega-6, chondroitin, glucosamine, things like that. So it's a very unique uh, product formulation, super high quality, and it tastes great because we have a freeze-dried raw coating on the outside. So I've already taste tested it with Leo uh, and he plowed through it uh, very, very quickly. So we're excited. It's launching uh, into stores very, very soon. Okay. So now you've set a long-term goal of generating 100 million in net sales by the end of 2023. How do you see that growth materializing by channel over the next two years? Right. So we really attack the market from an omni-channel perspective. What's unique about the Better Choice Company is that we service our customers in every channel that you know, pet food is available. So we'll be in brick and mortar retail within uh, stores like, again, Petco, Pet Supplies Plus, your independent pet food stores. Uh, we sell on what we would call third-party e-commerce platforms like Amazon and Chewy. 
We have our own direct-to-consumer business as well that will service um, through, currently it's through TrueDog.com and going forward, it'll be HaloPets.com. And then we have a, a really strong growing business internationally. And so we're about um, getting the sale and, and somewhat channel agnostic in terms of where we get that sale. So we want to be where and when it's convenient for the consumer to purchase our products. A large part of our growth naturally is going to come from the pet specialty channel. Uh, this is where Donald has had great success and we have a strong partnership there with our, our retailers, such as a, a Petco. And so we'll get a lot of growth uh, going forward in terms of adding doors and um, you know, shelf space within that channel. And then we'll continue to flank that with growth on Amazon Chewy, uh, our direct-to-consumer. And, and again, a big lever for us is the international business. I don't know if you know, we have a really strong business in China and uh, we have MOA approval, Ministry of Agriculture approval on 15 of our diets. It allows us to go and sell into mainland China. It's a, it's a huge advantage for us. Uh, we have a really strong partner uh, from a distributor perspective. That's also an investor in the, in the company as well. And so uh, huge upside uh, in terms of that market. Obviously a lot of people in, uh, in Asia and China specifically in the uh, pet household penetration of pet ownership is roughly call it 20% in China versus 60% in the United States. So there's a lot of upside there just in terms of pure pet ownership. Now your international presence is pretty significant. Um, what's been the key to building a 15 million plus business that's growing more than 50% alongside everything else you're working on domestically? It's a little bit of, of time and a little bit of uh, a deliberate strategy to build that market. So about two years ago, before I was here, uh, it was decided that they wanted to, to build out that market, get the MOA approval on the diets and really sort of have a food first mover advantage within the super premium segment within China. Uh, a large majority of the business is done direct to consumer in China via Tmall. And uh, it, it, the partnership that we have with our distributor Penefit uh, is really, I think the key unlock to building that market specifically in China. So if you look at the Halo brand in China, it, it probably has a greater awareness than it does here in the United States currently uh, because of um, the fact that there's been put a lot of effort there in the past. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. The super premium segment market, the Chinese uh, market is growing very quickly. They're looking for US made, US branded products and uh, we, we fit the bill. So um, tremendous upside there. All right. Well, Scott, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.